given that 108 times the square root of 27 to the power of 4y plus 2 divided by 4 times 9 to the 2y plus 1 can be written in the form of 3 to the power of p. Find an expression for p in terms of y. Okay, so what we need to do is take this expression and write it as a single power using the rules of indices. Okay, so writing it out, the first thing to realise is that 4 goes exactly into 108. So 4 goes into 4, 1, and into 108, 27 times. And that's good because 27 is 3 cubed. So now writing that as 3 cubed, now using that the square root of a number is a to the power of a half, then we're going to write 27, which is 3 cubed, put in some brackets to the power of a half, that takes to, uh, care of the square root of 27, and it then is all still raised to the power of 4y plus 2. Also, 9 is 3 squared, so that's the power of... Uh, so re rewriting 9 as 3 squared, and that's still now to the power of 2y plus 1. Okay, so that becomes 3 cubed, 3 to the power of 3. Now, here we can multiply this uh, together. Half times 4 is 2, and a half times 2 is 1. So the power now becomes 2y plus 1. In the bottom, if we use a to the m to the n is a times mn, then that means that 2 I can now multiply by that. So we get 3 to the 4y, 2 times 2y, plus 2 times 1, which is plus 2. Right. So now, now applying that again here to this situation, we're going to get 3 times 2, which is 6y, uh, and th uh, 3 times 1, which is 3, all over 3 to the 4y plus 2. Right, now this rule, a to the m times a to the n is a to the m plus n. That means I can now add that 3 to that 3 to make it 6. So we now get a to uh, sorry 3 to the 6y plus 6, that's the top there, applying that rule. We'll just keep the bottom as 3 to the 4y plus 2. Okay, carrying on to the, a new page. So this was the original uh, question. And this is where we've got to with it. Now applying this rule of indices, which is a to the m divided by a to the n is a to the m minus n means we can now rewrite this as 3 to the 6y plus 6. And then this power here, we can now subtract. So, But when we subtract, we need to remember to use brackets here and here because we're taking all of it away. Right, now just simplifying this using our algebra, we've got 3 to the 6y plus 6 minus 4y, and then a minus times a plus will make minus 2. Okay, carrying on, that becomes 6y minus 4y, which is 2y, and 6 minus 2, which is 4. So that we've now got that down to a single base, this is what we call base, and so we can now compare that with 3 to the p, so we can see that p has to be equal to 2y plus 4. Therefore, that implies that p is equal to 2y plus 4. So this has been a video to show you how to write an expression using, simplify an expression using the rules of indices and writing the expression with a single base. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.